Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Chris. This is my YouTube channel, Boat Rockers. And today uh, I'd like to answer a pretty special request from my, my good friend Big Hair. I met on YouTube here. So if you never heard of him, uh, go check his channel out, Big Hair. Uh, he's got a lot of awesome videos and he's got a lot of really interesting viewpoints on things. So go, go check his YouTube channel out. I think you'll like it a lot. But um, I want to address something that's going on in the uh, UK mainly, but also all across Europe. And it's uh, concerning the... Um, Mass immigration, not just the mass immigration, you know, there's a lot, lot, a whole lot more to it than that. But, you know, the mass immigration that's going on over in Europe that the uh, European people, the British people, none of them asked for, I don't think, I mean, it was never put to a vote. And it, even when something is put to a vote, their vote is ignored. Brexit, you know, Brexit was about a year and a half ago. They're, they keep stalling that process because ultimately they don't want to give the British people what they voted for. And that is what was promised to them. David Cameron said, whatever the British people vote for, we will implement. Well, they've not done that. And David Cameron was basically a bad loser because he quit right after the Brexit vote because they assumed that they had enough immigrants in Britain and enough leftist-leaning people that, you know, the left vote would overwhelm the right. And that, uh, that the, the British people would vote to stay. Well, they didn't. You know, because the British people voted to leave the European Union because the European Union is forcing all this immigration upon them and, you know, not letting them, you know, be their own country. And the British people spoke and their British voice has been ignored. And so if the British people could speak, I think that this is kind of would be what they would say. You know, they, I think they would say, you know, hey, we are tired of our rights being abolished. We're tired of our votes being ignored. We're tired of our voices being gagged. We're tired of our women being defiled. Because you have, you know, all across the UK and Europe, you got these grooming gangs that are led by mainly Arabic people, these, you know, people from these immigrants coming from these Middle Eastern African nations that are, you know, kidnapping these white European girls and grooming them and turning them into, you know, prostitutes or, you know, raping and abusing them. And this is hardly ever spoken about in the press. You know, the press is ignoring it. You know, all the while, you know, if someone does speak out against it, then they're charged with a hate crime. They're charged with hate speech. You know, this is nothing short of Orwellian rulership, dictatorship, tyranny. Because uh, basically what you've got going on, you know, not just in Europe, but also coming to America, is this, you know, this Orwellian doublespeak, you know, and this political correctness. And today I saw a headline that said, you know, a... A university here in the United States has uh, um, denied professors at their university from saying the word women. You know, it's an all women university, uh, university, but they're not allowed to use the word women or woman. They're, they can only use the word students. And I don't know, when last I looked, that's a violation of First Amendment rights. You know, I mean, how can you not allow people to say women? I mean, it's crazy. So our Freedom of speech is quickly being taken away from us, you know, and it's, you know, almost done in Europe and in the UK. Uh, and when you do that, what you do is you rob someone of their humanity. And because that's a part of being human, you know, uh, the ability to express yourself and to speak. And, you know, um, you don't have a right to take someone's freedom of speech away from them. And you don't have a right not to be offended either. You may, you may be offended, but you also have a right to turn your head, walk away, and ignore that person if you don't like what they're saying. But you don't have a right to mute their voice and to keep them from expressing their opinion. As long as it's speech and it doesn't, you know, you know turn into violent action or something like that. But the British people, you know, they're not having a right to speak out against the grooming gangs and against, you know, the mass immigration and losing their rights and losing their land. You know, John Cleese came under fire a few years back, you know, over some things that he said in an interview. You know, he said something to the point of, you know, and I'm paraphrasing. He said, when you walk down the street in London now, where's all the Londoners? Where's all the English people, you know? And then you, you quickly start to ask yourself, what's really going on here? Well, to answer John Cleese's question, you know, uh, white genocide. Uh, also, a white suicide. Because this is being perpetrated upon the English people, upon the European people, at the hands of their own people. And it doesn't take a genius to figure out what this is going to look like later on down the line. I've heard the, the, the year 2044 circled a lot as to around that year, around that time, will be 
when the European continent will be mostly uh, African, black, you know, Islamic, and the native population will be outnumbered by that by that point. I can't even think it'll be before then, because you you know the European people um, are not they're not producing at a very high rate, but the immigration. The, you know, the immigrants are. I mean, I think it's something like 1.7 uh, uh, or 2.1 children per household when it comes to the native population. But the immigrants, they populate at like 5 or 6 uh, children per family, something like that. So it's really out of balance there. So it doesn't take a genius to figure out what that's going to look like a few years from now. When you got the you know the native population outnumbered by the immigrants, and then later on the immigrants will outnumber the native population, and the land will not belong to those in the native population anymore. And so if they're outnumbered, and then most of the uh, uh, immigrant population are occupying places of high authority and office, right right now I think the the largest cities in uh, England all have Muslim mayors. And so when that happens and the only people in authority are people from, you know, who immigrated to the country and are of Islamic worldview, it doesn't take a genius to figure out what's going to happen. They're going to institute Sharia law. And what you see in third world countries, what you see in the Middle East will be in Europe. And so if the native population is going down and the visiting population, well, not visiting, but, you know, they're pretty much there to stay, but the immigrant population is going up then after a while, the native population will ultimately die out. And that's what's going to happen. And nobody seems to be doing anything about this. I mean, here recently, uh, Lauren Southern and uh, uh, some other people got banned from the UK because they were there to do a video or something like that on this very subject. And they got banned from the UK because of it. And why? I mean, they're just speaking the truth. Facts are facts. And right now, a lot of people don't like the facts. But, you know, speaking of the Brexit, the Brexit has not happened. And the people have spoken. David Cameron said, you know, whatever the people vote for, we will implement. Well, they need to implement it. They need to go forward with it. Because they're ignoring the people's vote. And that's the only voice that the people have right now in in the UK when they really want to let, you know, things be you know, known, how they feel about what's going on, is their, their vote. And their vote is being ignored. And so... Theresa May, I don't think, has any intentions whatsoever of going forward with the Brexit. Uh, they're just, they just keep stalling the process. And then ultimately, I've heard that they're going to let the vote go to the high court. Well, the high court is the elites. And, you know, that, that's a, you know, that would be lying to the British people and to the people in England when they, they were told that whatever they voted for would go forward. Well, it's been ignored. And so the British people, I think, would say, look, we're fed up with immigration being forced upon us, we're fed up with our voices being muted, we're fed up with hatred toward our very own race and toward our very own people being spouted and spewed from all these mosques by these imams, and then, you know, if we say anything against that, then it's called hate speech. Well, what about what the Islamic people are saying? And when, they're, when they march down the street saying, death to the UK, death to the UK, and what about that? That's not hate speech. That's hate speech. But they can do whatever they want. Well, it doesn't take a genius to figure out what that's going to look like in a few decades. Uh, maybe even sooner. Uh, basically, you will lose your land. You will lose your country. You will have nowhere to go. And you will be wanderers upon the earth. You will be destitute. And you will have nowhere to go but either to face the Islamic sword or death. And that's basically where it's going. In Europe and ultimately the United States if the liberals and the left get their way about things. Because basically what the left wants in the United States is they want a North Korea. They want a country and a people that they can heavily control and put the clamp down on. They don't want freedom. They don't want freedom of speech. They don't want people, you know, um, with a free market. They want uh, socialism. They want, they want communism. And they want basically a... a uh, Something just like in North Korea or Red China. That's what they want. That's what the liberals want. Because they are in love with power and they love to control people. And that's basically what's going to happen. Um, so, if the British people could speak, I think that's what they would say. Look, we're tired of, you know, 
of our country being invaded when we did not have a voice in, or, or a say-so in the matter, and we're tired of our rights being trampled on and taken away from us, and we're tired of our country being taken away from us, and we're tired of our women being defiled. Well, you know, like Barbara Lerner Specter said, you know, without this immigration, uh, Europe's going to die. Well, let Europe die on its own terms and don't force something on them. If Europe wants to die because they're not, you know, uh, populating enough, because they're not uh, producing enough, then let them die at, you know, on their own terms. But don't force immigration on them and teach, you know, tell them that they have to accept this immigration and everything that comes along with it. Because what comes along with, with it is third world mentality, third world uh, violence and third world religion, which is Islam, which is a just a butcher of a religion because it teaches hatred, and you know, it teaches violence against women. It teaches violence against homosexuals. You know, it teaches you know that uh, you know uh, women should you know be executed if they don't obey their husbands or do everything their husband says to do and all that. So how much more misogynistic can you get than that? But that is ignored, and it's only the right that is, you know, uh, labeled hate speech and basically has their rights taken away. So if that's what the British people could say, I, I think it would be something like that. We want our country back. We want, you know, our rights back. And we want our voices and our votes respected and acknowledged. And we want our Brexit. So I, I would hope that's what they would say. And I hope that's what they get. And so with that being said, I hope the British people, you know, uh, go forward with that Brexit and start changing things over there real soon. But uh, I'm Chris, and this has been my channel, Boat Rockers. Like my video, subscribe to my channel, and um, God bless, and hope you have a nice day.